Hi there, my name is Juno Dawson. Welcome to another Agony Aunt session in which I attempt to solve your problems using the power of my head. Um, so hi, today's problem comes from none other than Willa Rosenberg and Willa says, Dear Juno, I am a 19 year old female and I feel that in this stage of my life I should have more experience with relationships and stuff. The most I've had is a boyfriend when I was 17. She uses that term loosely. It wasn't anything really. He was my first kiss and nothing else. I don't feel comfortable with still being a virgin because I feel at this age I shouldn't still be one. I know I am bisexual but I've had absolutely no experience with girls and I feel that I'm getting old in regards to experiencing firsts like this in my life. It really quite upsets me how behind I feel in terms of being developed that way. I do try to meet girls but I'm an awkward person and no one ever seems to match me on Tinder. Please could you stop me panicking over this. All the best, Willa. Stop panicking Willa right now. Okay, now here's the thing. Um, Willa, and I'm sure lots of the people out there, um, say that they feel uncomfortable with still being a virgin at a certain age. But number one, as soon as one person in your friendship group starts losing your virginity, it becomes like, oh my God, we all have to get rid of our virginities. That's not true at all. Because while you might feel uncomfortable with still being a virgin, um, what would feel a lot more uncomfortable is having random sex with a total nobody who doesn't deserve your virginity just because you want to get rid of your virginity. It's not the fucking video from The Ring. You don't have to pass it on within seven days. It's your virginity, you know? It's something that you're only gonna have the one time. You know, be careful with it. Um, this isn't about sex. If you wanted to find sex, you could find sex. Like, you say to anybody, male or female, holla, I wanna have sex. Somebody's gonna be like, I'll have sex with you. I'm 73, but let's give it a go. No, what this is about is finding a connection and finding a connection is really hard. I'm here 24 years old and, you know, still, you know, haven't found my amazing connection yet. And I'm, you know, living hope finding that connection. And that's the hard part. And, you know, you might wait 20 years for that, but I think, it's worth waiting for, you know, it's worth waiting a lot more than 19 years. Um, you know, all you can do, you know, in terms of, you know, trying to attract people to you is, you know, go out there with the right attitude, go out there with an open mind and an open heart and try to see the good in people and trust that there are good people out there and there are good people out there for you. I've been very lucky in my life, I've had maybe four or five great boyfriends who've been wonderful and have given me such faith that there are wonderful, wonderful men out there. But keep going, it sounds like you're doing the right thing. The worst thing you can do is sit at home and worry about why it is you haven't met someone yet. But it's you've already said that you're on Tinder, so you're out there, you're trying, and be out there, meet people, look for people with the same interests as you. That's what's great about social media and Twitter and Instagram is that you can make connections with people that you wouldn't maybe have ordinarily made connections with. But I wish you all very, very best, but never be in a hurry to get rid of your virginity. Like I've said, it's not like everybody at 17 has got rid of their virginity. You know, speaking from a personal experience, um, and why not? You know, I got rid of mine in stages. So, you know, I started out with kissing, then did a little bit more when I was sort of 17, then did a little bit more when I was 19, and then did a little bit more when I was in my 20s as well, you know. There is no one thing, and actually, as you head into your 20s and as your relationships develop, you're always trying new things anyway. So, first boyfriend, first time you live with a boyfriend, first time you go on a foreign holiday with a boyfriend, there's all these firsts to get through. And I don't know why we put increased emphasis on virginity when actually our lives are full of firsts and will always be full of firsts, um, you know, even as we head into our 30s. <laughs> but um, I hope that helps calm down Willa everything is going to be fine um i'm gonna say look after your virginity it's a beautiful precious thing you know it's not something that you want to get rid of okay i hope that helps do keep your problems coming hello at junodawson.com and i'll be back next weekend trying to solve another problem until then bye